Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's use the equation where x is a function of time to find things such as the amplitude, the frequency, the period, and yes, the position when t is equal to 4 seconds. So when you're given an equation like this, x of t equals 10 centimeters times the cosine of pi t over 3, how do you find these things? Well, right away you should, you should take the equation in general and say that x as a function of time is equal to the amplitude times the cosine of omega t. Now we can see that a, the amplitude, is equal to 10 centimeters and that omega is equal to pi divided by 3. Now somehow we have to, we have to find the frequency and the period from omega and we'll do that in just a moment. So starting out with the amplitude, we can see that the amplitude is equal to 10 centimeters simply by inspection. Now we can also see that omega is equal to pi divided by 3. Now of course omega is the radial frequency so how do we find the frequency of oscillation? Omega is equal to 2 pi f which means that f is equal to omega divided by 2 pi and since omega is equal to pi divided by 3 this is equal to pi divided by 3 divided by 2 pi the pi's cancel out and we end up with 1 divided by 6 now the units for frequency is oscillations per second, so it's hertz. Oscillations per second are hertz, or 1 over second. The period is the inverse of the frequency. The period is equal to 1 over the frequency, which is equal to 1 divided by 1 over 6 hertz, which is equal to 1 divided by 1 over 6 per second. And when we divide by 1 over 6, that's the same as multiplying times the inverse, this, end up, this ends up being 6 seconds. And finally, now we're supposed to find the position as a function of time when the time is equal to 4 seconds. So x when t is equal to 4 is equal to 10 centimeters times the cosine of pi times time, which is times 4 seconds, divided by 3. Now we need a calculator, and remember when we calculate something like this. The angle here is in radian, so your calculator needs to be in radian mode. So we have pi times 4 divided by 3. And now I take the cosine of that and it's minus 0 0.5. 0 0.5, therefore we see that x must be equal to minus 5 centimeters. What about the minus? Well, it turns out that the object will be moving back and forth across the equilibrium point from maximum amplitude on one side being positive to amplitude on the, on the other side being negative so it could easily be a minus 5 centimeters instead of a plus 5 centimeters if the total amplitude is 10 centimeters that would be halfway between the equilibrium point and the amplitude on the negative side of the equilibrium point so minus 5 centimeters is the position when time is equal to 4 seconds and that's how we do that